Hello everybody, Spirit Jamie here and welcome to a pretty cool video. Today I will be explaining why Barbara is the best healer when it comes to price per performance. This is mainly going to be a guide for free to play players because if you are rich enough in the game to be able to build up Jean or Kiki then Barbara will not be the best. However, as I said, Barbara is the best price per performance character. And in this video, I will be explaining why this is the case. So first of all, Jeans and Tiki's heals scale off their attack. And do you know who else needs attack to be good? Yes, it is your DPS characters. This basically means that if you do not have enough attack artifacts, then those characters will not be as good as they need to be. However, you might ask, what is so unique for Barbara? Well, the most unique thing is that her heals actually stack off of her own max HP. Yes, you heard me right. The more HP Barbara has, the better the heals will get. This means you will not need to use your good attack artifacts for the healer. Instead, you will use the HP artifacts for your healer and keep the attack ones for your main DPS to make him as strong as possible. And since Barbara is basically the only character that needs a ridiculous amount of HP to be good, you will be placing your useless, aka the best HP artifacts on her. But I think that is enough explaining why she is really good when it comes to price per performance. Now let's take a look at talents, constellations, artifacts, and at the end we will be taking a look at the weapons since yes, Barbara's best or second best weapon is only a 3 star weapon. Now let's start with the talents. Her normal attack inflicts hydro damage to enemies. This means that with each normal attack, you place a vet debuff on the enemies. The same goes for her charge attack and her punching attacks. Her elemental skill is what makes this character crazy good. Let us show begin has a big number of effects. The first one is that when this skill is activated, it deals damage to surrounding enemies and inflicts a vet debuff on them. The second effect is that for as long as you have the circle around you, you will heal your whole party with each normal or charge attack. Currently, each time I attack with my Barbara, it heals all of my allies for 0.75% max HP plus 72 HP using each auto attack. However, keep in mind that when you use your charge attack, this heals for 4 times the amount. The third effect this two has is that for as long as you have the circle around you, you will get passively healed for a certain amount of your current HP. For me, right now, it's 4% max HP plus 385. And the last effect this two has is that whenever you come in contact with anyone while the circle is around you, you will inflict the vet status on the enemies. And this is what makes this character too good in a combo with Electro users. Now let's take a look at her elemental burst, which is Shining Miracle. Heals friendly forces and now parties for a large amount of HP that scales with Barbara's max HP. And of course, it heals for me right now for 17.6% max HP plus 1.7k HP. Now look at the cooldown that is 20 seconds, energy cost is 80. This will come in handy when we will be talking about our artifacts. Now let's take a look at the Ascension 2 passive talent. The stamina consumption of characters within Let the Show Begin. Melody loop is reduced by 12%. Now this is quite insane because you can use her E and then you can just switch to another character to fly away, to climb or even run while also reducing the stamina consumption of that character. And next let's look at the Ascen Ascension Phase 4 talent. When a character gains an elemental orb particle, the duration of Let the Show Begins melody loop is extended by 1 second. The maximum extension is 5 seconds. Now, this skill lasts for 15 seconds, however, it, that passive will make it so it will last for 20 seconds. And lastly, the passive talent is with my whole heart. This basically means that you have a 12% chance to obtain double the product whenever you do perfect cook. Next up are the constellations. Gleeful Songs makes it so Barbara regenerates 1 energy every 10 seconds and of course her ultimate needs only 80 energy to use. Vitality Burst is decreasing the cooldown of Let the Show Begin by 50%. During the ability's duration, the current character gains 15% Hydro Damage Boost. This is a really good passive as well. Undentiveness Be My Power basically means that every enemy Barbara hits with her charge attacks 
She regenerates 1 energy for her and a maximum 5 energy can be regenerated in this manner with any one charge attack. That means you can just spam your charge attacks and get your ultimate ready as soon as possible. This constellation level will come in handy for my one death challenge. And I'm doing this one death challenge by the way every Monday, Wednesday and Sunday at 8pm GMT plus 2 on stream here on YouTube. So if you want to join me by watching me do the one death challenge, make sure you join those streams because they're pretty fun. When Barbara is not on the field and one of her party members fouls, automatically revives this character. Fully regenerates this character's HP to 100% and this effect can occur only once every 15 minutes. Now yes, the cooldown is very big, but in a lot of endgame content you won't be able to use food if you die or even just for healing yourself. This makes it so this character will become extremely good later on in the game. Now that we got this out of the way, I'd like to say that yes, you can use her elemental skill aka the E and switch your main DPS making it so you will inflict bad status and passively heal even if you do not use Berbera. I'm gonna show an example right now. So if I do use my E and then use my Jean Ling, I literally get healing, healed and also I will apply the bad status to my enemies if I come in contact with them. This is one of the main reasons Barbara is really, really, really good when it comes to supporting. However, now it's time to talk about the artifacts. Really cool two really cheap artifacts are the Exo artifact set and the Adventurer artifact set. Now, of course, you do want to have HP, HP percent and HP mainly on your artifacts. However, having actual elemental recharge is really good too. As you can see, all of my artifacts have either HP or HP percent, however some might not really be that good since I'm pretty unlucky with getting HP artifacts, which is one of the reasons why this character is too good. Whenever you do get an HP artifact, you can use it on her and make her more powerful, especially since you won't be using it on any other characters. And lastly, we are talking about the weapons. Yes, the weapon I will talk about is a 3 star weapon that you can get from Wishing in Banners. I personally have it up to refine level 5 and at this refine level whenever you use Barbara and switch to another ally that ally will get 48% damage boost for 10 seconds. This is ridiculously OP since the main combo you want to do with Barbara is use her E and then immediately switch to let's say Razor or any other character you have that is your main DPS. Now your main DPS will inflict the vet debuff and also, your main DPS will have his attack increase by 48% for 10 seconds while also getting healed by a ridiculous amount. Okay everyone, this is an extremely good combo to use with Bido, with Razor, with John Ling as well. Basically with anyone that needs that damage boost, aka your DPS character that you're using at this moment. A good alternative for this weapon is the prototype Malice. Using an elemental burst regenerates 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5 or 6 energy depending on of course the refine level every 2 seconds for 6 seconds. Additionally, all party members will regenerate 4, 4.5, 4 5, 5.5 and 6% HP every 2 seconds for this duration. Now, why we wouldn't use this is that most of the time when we use our elemental burst, we use it when all of our characters are low. However, with only, if only one of our characters is low, we can just use our elemental skill, switch to that target and he will passively heal for a crazy amount of HP. And that is why I feel like Thrilling Tales of the Dragon Slayers is the best 3 star weapon and weapon in general for Barbara as a healer support. And that was pretty much it about this video. And I really hope I explained why this character is the best for the price per performance. I will list again what are all of the things that make this character cheap and effective. We use a 3 star weapon, we use HP artifacts, constantly applies vet status, it is really dangerous because of the artifacts, has passive healing, has burst healing, it is good even when you switch it out, and it is really good for traveling. And yeah, those are all the reasons why this character is one of the best healers in Genshin Impact. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you subscribe, Leave a like and join my Discord where we have over 700 members. 
and also maybe join me on my journey in the one death challenge when i'm streaming i'm streaming every monday wednesday and sunday at 8 pm gmt plus 2 and as always thank you so much for watching and bye bye until next time